What's up, riders? This is another ride home review a little bit later than normal, but you know, the holidays. Um, and this week, I want to talk about Aquaman, which stars Jason Momoa, Amber Heard, Willem Dafoe, Nicole Kidman, Patrick Wilson, amongst other folks. Um, and before I go into that, don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel, hit the bell so you get notified of all the reviews. Plus, uh, don't forget to like on Facebook, follow on Instagram, and also. Uh, the Anchor channel in which I have more than just film reviews. I do some TV series reviews as well. So there you have it. And just to get into a little bit of uh, Aquaman, which is directed, which was directed by James Wan, as follows uh, a little bit more of the backstory of Aquaman as after he was introduced in Justice League and to carry out uh, some of his legacy that's laid out for him in the form of uh, trying to Claim the power of Atlantis. So, um, just to get into it, what did I like about the film? Well, the film is, the underwater scenes are just visually awesome. They're just great. And it showed a little bit in the trailer, uh, but just to the details that were really uh, added to the, the rippling of the water, um, the floating, the hair, I mean, all that stuff, the details that they put forward was just spectacular and just um, well done. And I got to give them kudos on that, on building that world. I thought they did a wonderful job in that. And so, like I said, the details are there. And um, other than that, other than the, um, uh, the visuals there, uh, yeah, I mean, I wish they... Would have had more of those details when it came to the story. Because the story just seemed like a convoluted plot line of non sequiturs. And um, it just... It, I wish they would have just stuck with one story. For example, they introduced Black Manta, one of Aquaman's uh, nemesis. Nemesis is, uh, I guess you could say. Uh, and they just kind of shoehorned him in there uh, they really didn't give him the time necessary to develop as a uh, empathetic villain which they could have and I think he should have had his own thing instead of being like you know like Spider-Man 3 all these villains in there and just uh, it just ruined the storyline ruined his story arc and just yeah, it just didn't fit and they did that with a lot of pieces in this film, they, I just it felt like they were trying to do way too much, uh, and instead of keeping it simple and keeping it, um, just you know, let's let's have a focus here, and they just went several different ways. There was plot holes that weren't explored. There was, uh, or excuse me, plot lines that w weren't explored, so therefore left plot holes. And it just, in some of the characters you didn't even care for. And I don't know, it just just didn't work in a lot of aspects with this film. Was it better than Justice League? From what I heard, I didn't see Justice League. It probably was up there with Man of Steel, not quite as good as Wonder Woman. Well, there's not many that are as good as Wonder Woman. But, see, that was just a simplified plot that they could have used. So, therefore... I felt that this movie lacked. Should you see it in the theater? Yes, for the underwater scenes alone, it's just you're not going to get the same feel at home um, on a 50-inch screen versus the theater screen. What the what to watch for? Um, Nicole Kidman. Nicole Kidman's scenes were just great. I thought she did a wonderful job in creating that backstory um, of who Arthur was and um, just having that presence of being a classically trained actor that added a lot to the film, even though she wasn't in it for, a, for, for most of it. So anyway, there you have it. Aquaman, eh, yeah, yeah it's okay. So, uh, but don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like on Facebook, follow on Instagram, and listen on Anchor. Until next time, watch something cool. Talk to you soon.